Welcome to Servant of the Fates. Today's quick pick a card is all about your wedding. When, where, and how is it going to happen? Pick the card that sparks a memory in you. It has your message. Guidelines below on how to do just that. Feel free to pause this video as you take your pick. As always, timestamps down below. And let's begin. If you chose the first card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Here's your message. Congratulations. Some of you will get married in a month, others in a year. Either way, that's very soon. The ceremony with the vows in the signing will take place in a remarkable church or other religious place. Think St. Mark's Basilica in Venice or the Blue Dome Church in Santorini. Then again, if remarkable to you and your beloved means something sweetly personal, then maybe at the church where you or they grew up going. You may be surprised by all this because you may not be religious at all and can see yourself marrying someone who is. That may very well be. But someone's parents will definitely insist on you two having a traditional church or ceremonial wedding. Afterwards, the feast will take place in a castle setting. Could be one of those ethereal abandoned castles being rented out for such occasions. Or Disneyland in front of Sleeping Beauties or Cinderella's castle. Surprised by the glamour of it all? That's because you're marrying a Leo or another fire sign. And those people love to shine. The ceremony will take place late afternoon and the reception will begin in the evening. There will be lots of drinking, dancing, and rowdiness from guests, but all in good fun. Besides, that was always the plan. You and your other half, though, will be rushing to leave because no matter how gorgeous the wedding, nothing's as beautiful to you as each other. So off to your honeymoon you go. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the second card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Here's your message. Your wedding will take place very soon. Anywhere from two weeks to seven months. The theme will be a magnificent masquerade. Think Beauty and the Beast or a Victorian gala. The ceremony will be officiated by an authority figure in your community. Your priest slash pastor or the mayor slash judge. The day itself will be amazing. But the months before, my god, you thought you knew what stress meant but you had no idea. Because a masquerade in an elegant mansion doesn't just happen by itself. Either you alone or you and your wedding planner will be crazy busy perfecting all the little details, making sure the decor is from the correct period, that the guests have clear guidelines on what to wear, that the menu will go well with the theme. And so tears of frustration will flow, and words of anger will be spoken. But, as Shakespeare would agree, all is well that ends well. So don't worry, you won't be the world's first bridezilla or groomzilla after all. Your masquerade wedding will be absolutely unforgettable, not just to you and your beloved, but to everyone who attended. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the third card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Here's your message. Bad news first. Your wedding won't be what you always imagined. Maybe since you were a little girl or boy, You've been fantasizing about something huge, something grand, something out of a fairy tale. Well, it won't be like that. It will be simple and intimate. The good news? You will love it. Between now and your wedding day, it will dawn on you what truly matters. The love you and your other half 
feel for each other. Not how many tears your wedding cake should have or how many likes a ridiculously long gown trail will get. Getting married means starting a life together. And you'd rather spend your savings on a home or a car, not on something as fleeting as an expensive wedding. Love is all we need, right? And you and your soulmate will share a whole lot of it. The reception will be small. Imagine a dinner party at your elegantly decorated home. But that's exactly how you like it. Only a couple dozen people who are actually happy for you and your spouse. Not a bunch of guests who are just there for the free champagne. <laughs> so, are you ready? Because your big day is happening between 8 and 9 months. And for a few of you, sooner. Within 8 weeks. Congratulations in advance. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the fourth card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. Here's your message. You, darling, will have a destination wedding. Anywhere from Paris and Venice to Bali and the Maldives. Either way, it's definitely going to be overseas. Your wedding will be complete and traditional. Cute three-year-old ring bearer, pretty little flower girl, bridesmaids and a maid of honor, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. There will be no skimping on cost or effort. Your guests will enjoy an abundance of deliciously Instagrammable food and your gown or suit will be the most expensive thing in a thousand mile radius. Some people view marriage as a kind of prison you somehow cage yourself in, but it will be just the opposite for you. Your experience of being single has been lonely and limiting. You crave to bond with your other half, believing that in uniting, your heart will finally be free to love and feel as you never have before. That's why your wedding will be so special to you. Not just outwardly, but deep within. It will be your farewell to a life you never fully enjoyed and a hello to the one you've always dreamed of. It will happen in threes. For those of you who are already in union with their soulmates, in three weeks or three months or even three days. For most of you though, in three years. But time flies. Just keep fighting the good fight. Soon, when the time is right, you'll be walking down the aisle. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you again soon. Take care.